enough that is enough of that <laughs> i'm tired of seeing y'all run around on the internet running y'all babies into walls and stuff like that cut it out <laughs> no more bird box challenge i saw the movie <laughs> uh-uh don't do it no more let's get right into it the director susan Bayer. the runtime is two hours and four minutes it is a netflix film i usually tell you if you're gonna uh get off the couch and go to the movie or sit on the couch and wait for it uh, but this Netflix, um, it's a drama slash thriller. The cast, Sandra Bullock, Sarah Paulson, John Malkovich, Trevant Rhodes, Machine Gun Kelly. I should have played this part. Laurel, hey, hey, man, ain't no more sacrificing yourself for, for nobody, okay? We got to get rid of the uh, the black guy dies again. We got to cut that out, all right? This one ain't a horror film, okay? All right. <laughs> The review, I usually get those offline, and I give you guys my opinion, you know, let, it, let you know what it is and what it ain't. Here we go. When a mysterious force decimates the population, only one thing is certain. If you see it, you die. Blindfold. <laughs> the survivors must now avoid coming face-to-face -face with the entity that takes the form of their worst fears. Searching for hope and a new beginning, a woman and her children embark on a dangerous journey through the woods and down the river to find the one place that may offer sanctuary. To make it, they have to cover their eyes from the evil that chases them and complete the journey completely blindfold. All right, guys, I'm going to tell you like this. I've been hearing, I don't know what. How this frenzy of watching the bird box started, uh, more than likely online. <laughs> I can't believe it even it was a frenzy. Um, woo! I'm just trying to hold my tongue, you know, because I am an actor, you know, and I have much respect for all the actors. Uh, once again, uh, the catalyst played by John Malkovich. Great job, great job. I'm not saying no one else didn't do a great job, but uh, it, without him being the catalyst, uh, I really wasn't looking forward to nothing in the movie. Um, most of the people I had, I had to talk to other people about this particular uh movie, and coming from my own understanding and the way I see it, most people. And when I asked them what did they think the movie was about, they they really didn't have an answer. They really couldn't tell me why the movie was good or what have you. And I had some uh, other conversations with people that did have an opinion. And um, I'm going to tell you for real. Just going to break it down. The movie, to me, was basically about um, these entities came to Earth. And basically, they lifted the veil off of human beings' eyes all around the world. And like I said, uh, revered their deepest, darkest fears. And basically, it showed them that the world is a very ugly, nasty place. And in the movie, only people that did not go crazy or kill themselves were the people that was deemed crazy. <clears throat> I said deemed crazy. Because most people, they, they, you know, a lot of crazy people say they see things, they are hearing voices and stuff like that. Basically, let's just say it. Hey, the, the veil is already lifted off their eyes. But this movie, uh, I couldn't take it. Um, so basically, crazy people, they was unaffected. And um, blind people, they was unaffected. Because they really couldn't see. They, the crazy people saw the world for what it really was. They lived their whole life like that. And um, the blind, they never saw the world. It's only in, in their head what the world may be like or look like. Uh, I, I thought the children should not have been affected because they haven't had enough of the world to be fooled by. But I was talking to uh, uh, 
a friend of mine, and he saw the children being blindfolded. These was young children, let's say about four or five. And what he got from it that made a lot of sense was that the children being blindfolded is basically the parent teaching the child this is how it is. And, and, and that's how the world is right now. Uh, no matter uh, what background you come from, you have your moral values from your family or your mother or your father and so on and so forth. And it's different for everyone around the world. Um, overall, two hours and four minutes, <clears throat> being that I like movies and um, this is what I do, I watched it. Other than that, do not rush to see The Bird Box. If this was in the movie theaters... I would say wait 10 years to a day you very, very bored and then go watch the bird box. <laughs> uh, I could have been, done a lot of things in my two hours and four minutes. I'm going to just let you know right now, right now, you know, I'm, <laughs> when you look, if you do watch it, do it like this <laughs> for real. Oh, okay. Now let's get to it. This movie been out for a while now. Uh, Creed 2. Creed 2 uh, is uh, two hours and ten minutes runtime. It's a drama. The director is uh, Stephen Capel Jr. Uh, I was not impressed with Creed 1 at all. So when Creed 2 came out, I was most definitely not going to run to see it. Hence, right now, this is why I'm just breaking it down right now. Uh, but I was led to go see it, and I was pleasantly surprised. And I'm going to tell you guys, any, any of you Rocky fans... From back in the day, I think you would love it. It would be right on target with uh, Rocky. And I'm going to just let you know. Hey, yo, Rocky wins again. You hear me? All right, now check it out. Let's get into it. In 1985, Russian boxer Ivan Drago killed former U.S. champion Apollo Creed in a tragic match that stunned the world. Against the wishes of the trainer, Rocky Balboa, Apollo's son Adonis Johnson accepts the challenge from Drago's son. Another dangerous fighter. Under the guidance of Rocky, Adonis trains for the show for the showdown of his life, a date with destiny that soon becomes his obsession. Now Johnson and Baboa must confront the shared legacy as the past become as the past comes back to haunt each man. I'm gonna tell you just like this. Oh, the cast. Michael B. Jordan. Much love. Tessa Thompson. Hey, Tessa, you did your thing. You, you and Michael, you guys had a chemistry. I loved it. Uh, Felicia Rashad mm, played the mother of Michael B. Jordan. Sylvester Stallone. Hey, man. Hey, hey, hey. Rocky wins again. Uh, Dolph. Uh, Wood Harris. Russell Hornsby. Brigitte Nielsen. Oh, man. Come on. It, 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 it's, it's the Rocky. Have you have you ever seen the Rockies or you have it? Hey, Rocky, Rocky, I'm telling you. But now it's on to the Creed. They put some of that Rocky magic onto this Creed 2. Creed 1 is not impressed. Uh, the Rocky, uh, I said Rocky. Look, it, it got me ready to rock. Creed 2, it, very much the Rocky feel. Very much the Rocky feel. The movie starts off uh, Adonis. Boom. Wins the championship belt right off the gate. Not going to go too deep into that. It's, it has a lot of family values and uh, a very, it's a wholesome family feel movie. Not necessarily a, a, a family movie, but it's a wholesome family movie. It has a lot, uh, dealing with a lot of uh, relationships and bonds between mother, husband, wife, father, son. Oh, it, it's great. It's great. It's, it's suspenseful. Uh, great acting. Um, cinematography was okay. Acting was superb. Um, I'm highly impressed. Creed 2. Creed 2. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know if Creed 1 was the setup for this movie. Um, or did... Just the director. I don't know I don't know if uh, Steven was the director of the first one, but Creed 1... Ah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. But uh, Creed 2, you most definitely, uh, I can see it's Creed 3, most definitely. Um, you, it seems like you guys want to continue on this uh, uh, this rocky uh, legacy that I grew up on, you know. And, uh, of course, the uh, 
the uh, red, white, and blue chunks are worn in the movie. Hey, I love it. Thumbs up. If it's still in the movie, uh, I would get off the couch and I, I would go see it. Uh, if it's already gone out the movies where, where you're located, hey, check it out. Uh, rent it. Uh, DVD it. Whatever, whatever you have to do. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great movie to sit on the couch, grab a pizza. But if it's still in the movie theater, I would very much uh, circulate some money to go see it. Hey guys, that's my time. I'm showing money in a month. See you next time.